First up, we're going to get started with Nick Steva. We've got Carl Katz, who's one of the family members here at TCG, as we like to say. And uh, really excited to hear about the CRM. That's, that's, that's the buzz right now. They've got a CRM that they're uh, rolling out throughout the year. And I'm not going to steal all of Carl's thunder, but I know that I'm really excited to hear more about that. I've been with Nextiva for uh, almost five years now. Started as a channel manager in this market, worked my way up to director, and now I'm a channel chief VP of channel sales for Nextiva. And um, obviously, in this industry, five years is a long time. It's like dog years. So I'll say I'm here 35 years. Uh, I'm also here accompanied by our uh, regional director, uh, Rob Bayshore back there, who handles the whole East Coast for Nextiva. And we have a local channel manager, Joyce Sherlock, which is right there. Let laser pointer? No. Uh, Joyce is right there. <laughs> and uh, Joyce is our local uh, resource here and an awesome uh, channel manager. So if you guys have any questions afterwards, we're the people to talk to. So let's get started because I got a certain amount of time and I have a lot to go over. I just want to say first off, this is a really exciting time for Nextiva. We are in the process of moving our organization from a UCAS only organization to a SaaS organization. Everybody knows what SaaS means, right? That's right, software as a service. We're gonna be a SaaS company. We don't forget where we came from, and we're a great UCAS organization. Our minimum seat requirement is one seat, okay? So we still want you to sell UCAS through us, but we're taking the conversation to the next level, which is a real differentiator in the marketplace. So what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna to talk to you about Nextiva, our awesome relationship with TCG, being our oldest master partner, by the way, uh, and our largest as far as volume is concerned, so we're really proud of that. I signed them up almost five years ago when I started. So it's been a great ride. Uh, TCG's, uh, like Nate was saying, almost like family, and I live right down here in South Florida. Almost like, yeah, well, you know, you know, all right, your family. Okay, fine, your family. I just can't, I can't be, you know. So we'll be all right. expecting Hanukkah presents this year, Carl. Okay, you got it, Marty. <laughs> all right, so we're, we're going to go over Nextiva real quick, okay, because I have a lot of great stuff to share with you guys. So Nextiva is eight years old, or, well, excuse me, Nextiva is 11 years old, sorry. 11 years old yesterday, if you didn't see LinkedIn, okay? We had a birthday bash all over LinkedIn, okay? We, we do it right as far as marketing is concerned. We're headquarters in Scottsdale, Arizona. We're committed to amazing service, guys. We trademarked the name Amazing Service because we believe in it. Our support team is in-house, and we're the sixth largest UCAS provider in the U.S. We do business with a lot of companies, big, small, every vertical you can imagine. Our minimum seat size is one seat, believe it or not. We don't forget where we came from. Our largest customer has over 8,000 seats and everything in between. A lot of different verticals. Service is super reliable. We're very focused on the amazing service aspect of it, so service is super reliable. User experience, we have one portal to accommodate all the moves, ads, and changes, and our new products coming out that I'm gonna show you in a minute. Really exciting stuff, and our customer service is great. Guys, at the end of the day, UCAS is not perfect, it's not if things go wrong, right? It's when they go wrong and how you handle it, right? So we're very focused on amazing service as an organization. We were just listed. Gartner actually changed the magic quadrant, okay? From, nice, harmonica. Uh, Gartner just changed the magic quadrant, okay? And now have incorporated um, uh, UCAS vendors in the magic quadrant, and we were listed in the Magic Quadrant as a notable vendor for the first time in our history, which is outstanding. And that's a testament to our technology, our amazing service, okay, and our coverage. And by the way, eventually when we do go international, which we're not quite yet, when we do go international, then we'll be more than a notable vendor, we'll be an actual vendor on the Magic Quadrant. So really excited about that. Our network. Superior, we have a switch down here in Miami. When I first started five years ago, we didn't have a switch in Miami. Now we have a switch in Miami. You know why? Mostly because of all the business in South Florida, because a lot of people in here gave us that opportunity to open a switch in Miami. Okay, what we do is unique. We have peering relationships with all the tier one providers 
in the US. Pretty much all of them. And a really special one is NITEL, who's here today. Uh, we actually have a peering relationship now with NITEL and are in five of their switches. So a lot of organizations have issues with the fact that we do not sell bandwidth. Okay? So what we do to mitigate that issue is we have peering relationships with Comcast, AT&T, Verizon, Cogent, and now NITEL. So if you're on NITEL's network and you're using, using Nextiva over the top, the service is going to work seamlessly. You're going to get no, very little packet loss, if any, zero, very little latency. The service is going to work outstanding. And that's the case with all of our vendors. But NITEL, I don't know what happened here, but NITEL is a new vendor for us. And we just uh, have an interconnection agreement that just happened like six months ago. Obviously, we're a unified communication company. I don't want to uh, understate that. We have all the stuff a unified communication provider would have. We have the Nextiva app. We have uh, collaboration tools and video sharing and uh, any device app. We have virtual faxing, conference calling, all that good stuff. Okay, so I'll call this the Me Too slide, right? <laughs> we have all the stuff that all the UCAS providers have and we have more. We are also HIPAA compliant, which is very unique in our space, right? We can actually go ahead and create a solution, believe it or not, and by the time we're done with this, you'll see that Nextiva can actually create a solution that no other UCAS provider can provide in the United States. Zero. Okay? And it actually involves HIPAA compliancy. And by the way, we're not only HIPAA compliant, but we're willing to sign a business associates agreement, a BAA, to provide the customers to indemnify them against a HIPAA audit. All right? So it's crucial. And that is an easy way to get business. You go into a doctor's office or a medical facility, one of our largest customers is Hospital Corporation of America, a Fortune 70 company. You go into these medical facilities and let them know that you're HIPAA compliant and ask them if their phone system is HIPAA compliant. And they're going to be like, it has to be HIPAA compliant? And you're going to be like, yeah. <laughs> and guess what? Fear, uncertainty, and doubt, right? FUD factor, you bring that in, you get, the, you get them on HIPAA compliant product, and they're happy. Three months. Good question. Three months. We also offer call center. And by the way, guys, if you have any questions, be like Benny. Okay? <laughs> Shout them out. Remember that. Be like Benny. All right. So next, Eva call center. We offer call center product. That includes queuing. That includes supervisor dashboards. That includes, uh, you know, all types of, uh, you know, all types of functionality you would get on a call center. Right? And it could be of any size. We have large call centers. We just closed uh, you know, a call center for $12,000, like a few days ago. We also have advanced contact center. Everybody knows the difference between advanced contact center and call center? No. I'm going to pretend everybody doesn't know. OK. So advanced contact center, thank you for that. Advanced contact center is also known as an omni-channel solution. What does that mean to you? Omnichannel means that no matter how your customers communicate with you, whether it be by phone, by email, by web chat, we can create a repository of that information and put it into our advanced contact center product. We compete with companies like InContact, right? Five Nines, TalkDesk, everybody's heard of those companies. Okay, we can compete with those companies at their scale with this product, okay, and it is a, we are on a Cisco switch, which was formerly Broadsoft. This is a Cisco product that we've enhanced to accommodate our requirements. So Advanced Contact Center is big. By the way, we just closed an Advanced Contact Center deal yesterday for $17,000 in MRR. So if you want to know where the money's at, the money's at <laughs> Advanced Contact Center, Call Center, big. All right. The 17th, I can't say the company because believe it or not, we signed an NDA with them, but the name is very familiar to everybody and deals, I'll give you a hint, with a speaker. Okay. That's all I'll say. All right. So uh, we have advanced contact center, integrated data, omni-channel routing, right? Emails, okay, coming in, uh, phone calls coming in, web chat, one repository, integrates with Salesforce, 
Okay, we can do that. It's a great tool, and it's great for reporting afterwards and actually taking care of the customer and providing your customers with a great customer experience. Everybody knows the acronym CX, right? Everybody's heard of that? Okay, CX, another no, I like that, okay. CX stands for customer experience. That's the new phrase of the ages. Everybody's talking about acronyms, right? You had UCAS, you have SAS. Now it's CX, everybody's involved in customer experience. So our job at Nextiva and the, future, the current products we have and the future products that we're coming out with are going to help your customers increase their productivity and gain a competitive edge in their market, whatever they're doing. And customers need, more than ever, the customer experience is important because guess what? Okay, how long, do, do, well now, at this point, how long do people usually have as far as their attention span? Yeah, literally, if it's going to a website, okay, it's less than 10 seconds. If they don't see what they want, they're gone, okay? And by the way, you thought email was the big thing 10 years ago. It's not email anymore, it's text, right? So we can actually, we actually have a product It's part of our app, it's included in the app, where you can actually SMS from your business number on your app to regular phones and it's included in the service, just FYI. Okay, so we'd offer Advanced Contact Center, it's great. Has all the standard features, and you know what? People are used to paying over $100 a seat for this product. That's where the revenue's at. So if you have an Advanced Contact Center opportunity, let us know, we have engineers to help. Engineers will fly out and come see your uh, customer. I'll go out, Rob will go out, We'll definitely uh, go out and force if you want us to. But of course, you guys control the sale. So let us know what resources you want, and we'll be there for you, no matter what we're selling. How much is the? For Advanced Contact Center, uh, I think it would be about $125 a month. But bring us the opportunity, and let's see what makes sense. OK? All right, so went over all this. All right, next, Diva Analytics. I know some of you have sold Nextiva already and understand what analytics really can do. Nextiva Analytics provides you deep insight into your customer's business. So for example, your customer does marketing, right? I'll give you an example. Okay, and here's an example that no other company can offer, right? This is what I was talking about in the HIPAA compliant. There's an orthodontist that we sold. 15 locations. They advertise on TV, on radio. They have billboard signs up. Okay, when we asked them a question about how their calls were routed, they said their calls were routed to a receptionist. We're like, okay, and how about, a, now remember, they're, they're spending $15,000, $20,000 a month, and the sales calls are routed to a receptionist. Now, if the receptionist is not there, where does it go? To the office manager. If the office manager's not there, where does it go? To her voicemail. That's the way businesses work right now. So what Nextiva Analytics can do is we can actually create a report that provides customers the ability to see new calls that came in from numbers that never called before, that were not answered. Okay, so you can pull that report every day, auto generate, auto-populate, and go to your email and provide you with that information. It can also provide you with analysis to let your customers know the effectiveness of those marketing campaigns. Okay? So if you're running a billboard and you're running uh, a radio ad, you're running Valpac, you might want to determine which piece is more effective so you can go ahead and replicate success, right? Small businesses want to do that. Even if you're a three location pizza shop, you want to do that. So analytics is critical to business and you can run period over period analysis. You can have auto reports. I mean, you can do unlimited things with this. It's a great tool, okay? And believe it or not, we can include this with a seat. We're not talking about like big money or anything. We can include this with a seat if you need it. We're very flexible in that way. Just let us know, all right? Now, 
We also offer advanced IVR. Now, this is a unique tool, and we'll go back to the orthodontics guy, right? All right, what do you guys get after, well, the day before an appointment? Reminder. Where do you get that reminder? Text. Text message, right? So advanced IVR has a lot of functionality. The unique thing, you just get the reminder from the doctor or what? No, I said they have it at you in every direction now, and then half the time you still miss it because you get so used to like seeing it. That you mm -hmm. <laughs> but you know what's funny? You never miss a text. You, you might miss an email, but you'll never miss a text. Okay? So advanced IVR is customizable. Advanced IVR for that guy who had the orthodontics shop enabled him to do a few things. The first thing is, is it gave him one number to advertise his business. Imagine how impossible it is to advertise 15 locations. Say, call your nearest location. How about having one number and advertising that one number and using zip code routing to provide, to provide a distribution to the organization? So wherever it's closer, whatever the location closer, is closest to the, where the person's calling from, we'll get that call. In addition to that, you have all of these features. Now, I put this up here because these are actual phone numbers that we use to demo, okay? But you can actually, uh, you can actually do a zip code router. You can actually do all of this functionality, including, including appointment reminders with this. And by the way, you can you do one advanced IVR studio product, okay? A couple hundred bucks and have all of this functionality but use it one at a time, right? So if you want to do the appointment reminders one time and then do PCI compliancy another time, you can do it. As long as you're not using them simultaneously. Going back to the orthodontics person, right? HIPAA compliant, right? You have 15 locations, so you get analytics on your marketing, okay? Using appointment reminders and even using uh, zip code routing, right? There's no other company out there that has all these products under one umbrella that you can go to your orthodontics uh, customer and offer it, or any healthcare customer that has a similar scenario. So you can't have the zip code router and the appointment reminder at the same time? No. So what happens is you can actually uh, have the zip code router during the day and the appointment reminder at night, for example. Or you just buy two. No, you'd have to go into the portal and change it. Or you could buy two different ones and then both work simultaneous. So, yes. Okay, so this is our IVI our product. And so we have, oh, look, that didn't come out nice. Ooh, how'd that happen? All right. Guys, this is what we're excited about, okay? So uh, Jen called me up uh, last December and said, Carl, when do you want to do your presentation? And I said, she goes, we have an opening in March. I said, no. April, no. May, yes. And the reason I said May is because we just came out with our new business communication suite last week. Okay? And this is what Nate was referring to. The business communication suite is a differentiator. Remember we talk about increasing your customer's productivity, helping them gain a competitive edge in their marketplace, okay, the customer experience. This is critical to everyday businesses today because the landscape is more and more competitive and they're looking at the partners here to leverage the best technology to create the best solutions to help their business, okay? If you guys are out there just thinking that we're offering phone service and you want $19.95 and a free phone, you can do that, but, but in three years from now, first of all, you're not doing your customer service because the companies that are offering this 1995 and all that, and by the way, we can be competitive, okay? I'm not saying let's walk away from that business, okay? But the good news is, is that Nextiva is advancing technologies all on one platform. Everything we do is organic. We have 1,050 employees of which 280 are developers developing this stuff. So the products that you put your customers on today, including phone service, is not going to look the same in a year from now or two years from now. You're adding value to your customers, which is increasing your annuity, which is what everybody is here to do. 
Increase your annuity. Get more, get more bang for your buck, right? You're out there. When your customer is up on contract in three years and they buy from you on price, what's going to happen in three years from now? Either they're going to leave on price or are going to have somebody else who's providing them value. I'll give you an example. I was actually, I don't know if you guys saw that, uh, that gutter thing where the leaves go, you know, it covers the gutter so the leaves don't go in the gutter, right? I had this guy come out and do an estimate for me in my house, okay? <laughs> he came out and he goes, okay, it's $2,100. I was like, wow, that's a lot of money for, for cover for the gutters? Oh, it's proprietary technology. Okay. And I'm like, okay, great. All right, look at this, this uh, surgical steel. Okay, beautiful. And so I said to him, I go, that's quite a bit. He goes, well, well I could get it to 1800 Were you in the military? No. Was your dad? Yes. Okay, we can do 1400 Okay? I swear, this just happened two weeks ago. And then I said to the guy, I go, um, well, is that right? I really felt bad. I don't want, you know. I go, can you just give me the discount? He goes, yeah. I go, you know what? Forget it. Let me think about it. They hate that. So guess what? The, the same day in the evening, he goes, well, somebody's going to be in your neighborhood. I could do it for $831. <laughs> Swear. And you know what? I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I really didn't. Because I, I felt like I was being conned. Taken, yeah. yeah, taken. But at the end of the day, guys, you want to provide persistent value to your customers helping them with their business and their customer experience. So what we are rolling out now is the NextOS business communication suite. The business communication suite is on one platform. It's organic. It's not like other providers that bring on other companies, buy other companies and other platforms and pile it on. This is actually, I'm not saying anything wrong with that, it's just different. We're organic. We have 280 developers on staff that's providing development to these new products. So whatever we discuss today is on one platform, one pane of glass, all the products together. And by the way, if your customers are on these products and they're all together, including a CRM, I don't know if you guys ever experienced moving a CRM from one to another. It's a lot more painful than moving phone numbers from one company to another. Let's put, I guarantee it. So at the end of the day, your customers are more sticky. They ain't going nowhere. You guys are building an annuity. You don't want a customer for three years and then gone. You want to count on that revenue long term. It's a proven fact that customers that have CRMs okay, and other types of additional products okay, now are eight to nine years minimum instead of three years. Okay? Because they don't want to leave you. So let's talk about jobs to be done by your customers. Okay, it's all about jobs to be done. Now, I want to say first off, we offer integration with 30 plus CRMs. So you don't need to be on ours. Salesforce, HubSpot, Dynamics, all of them. We offer integration with all of them. But we have our own now. I will tell you that if you have those other ones, we're not as robust a CRM as those other companies are yet. But in a year from now, we're going to be on the same scale as those top line producers. And by the way, nobody else offers residuals on CRMs. Nobody. Go out, right, go out to Salesforce and say, give me a residual. They'll say, we'll give you three times whatever the contract is. Can you guys have the API? What do you mean? The, 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 the middleware. So we have an integration with Salesforce. But this is our own product. So yeah, this is your own product. Mm -hmm. so do you have an API? Like I have my own product. Maybe I want to, you know. Oh, I see. I'd have to find out. All web services or API, either way. I'd have to find out. Right. Don't have the answer. You have 280 programmers guaranteed. Yeah, we probably have APIs. I'd have to find out right. your particular situation. Yeah. So jobs to be done. So you have a customer. I was talking to somebody today, I'm not going to mention any names, that uses, guess what they use for their CRM? <laughs> hey, Nate, what, the, what does this customer use for their CRM now? They're using uh, Outlook and Excel. Right. Outlook and, I'm not naming any names. Uh, they're using Outlook and Excel. Okay. Would your customer benefit if they knew who was calling when they called in okay, to get a screen pop? Would they benefit w to click on the contact and see a, a CRM dashboard behind them with all the interactions of that customer? 
would they benefit by being able to open a ticket to assist the customer? Yeah. What customers don't want that? Yeah, of course. And by the way, this CRM comes with our base product. And how much is our base product per month, per seat? Yeah. What? Yeah, it's like, no, close. Okay. So, 30 bucks. About 30 bucks. That includes a unified communication seat, the app, collaboration, unlimited LD, could even include a phone and a CRM. 30 bucks. Yeah. Hello. I mean, what small business can't use that? And you know what? I, I don't want to, I don't want to, uh, you know, say that this is something that it's not. Because it's not Salesforce yet. But we're advancing because we're coming out with a new version of it in July. And your customers that are on it, we're not going to say we're not going to, you know how SaaS works, right? It's just like firmware upgrades on phones or portal upgrades on UCAS. As we upgrade the system, your customers get the benefit of the upgrades okay, for no additional charge. We've never raised rates for customers in the 11 years we've been around, and we don't plan on it. So this is a job to be done, CRM. We like to call it VoIP Plus, okay? There's an example of a call pop. That's how it looks. And by the way, to access their, U their UCAS database and their move to do moves, ads, and changes is on the same dashboard. So if they're fumbling around the dashboard and they see all these other little products here on the side and they click on it, what is that? They call our account management team and they say, what's that? And they say, well, it's CRM, it's web chat, and it's surveys. Wow, that's cool. Can I sign up? Yeah. And guess what happens? You guys get commission on it. <laughs> so as your customers increase their services with Nextiva, not only is it all commissionable 100% to you guys, okay, but now you have a sticky customer because they're not leaving anywhere. See, you can actually go ahead and if when the phone number co comes in, it'll give you options if the phone number's called in before, right, with the same record, and you can put it in there. You got tickets. By the way, Nextiva's customer service has been using this for a year and a half. We're using our, we eat our own dog food, as they say, <laughs> right? So. That's cool, right? Everybody agree? That's a, a nice feature, especially for 30 bucks a month. Oh yeah. The next job to be done. The next job to be done is, how do your customers understand their customer sentiment? You ask the question, how do you know if your customer you engaged today, last week, last month, is satisfied? You can't gauge that unless you utilize surveys. As part of the Nextiva platform, you also have the ability to send out surveys in correlation, conjunction with the CRM. I just had an interaction. Let's get a survey out. You can create your own surveys. You can create templates. You got all that. All right? And you, you might want to do a, uh, a, a campaign where you say, you know what? I want to contact all the people in the CRM who actually had a bad customer sentiment that we communicated with in the last six months. You can pull the information up from the CRM, send a survey out to those people, bam. You got instant uh, understanding of your, that customer segment. Does that make sense? Remember, this all works together. All right, and here's an example of how the surveys look, and you can manage your surveys. Remember, all this is gonna be consistently evolving the technology's evolving with Nextiva. Okay, here's an example of the surveys and creating your own customized survey. Very simple, by the way. Super duper simple. Real easy to use. Now the last job, remember we talked about a customer's attention span? Okay, I don't know about you guys, but there's something in the food from when everybody was a kid that's given everybody ADHD. Okay? <laughs> I mean, really. I mean, come on. People's attention span is like a millisecond. How many customers, and I was actually talking with TCG about this, actually, okay? How many customers come to TCG's website? How many customers go to your customer's website? Prospects, should I say, prospects. Could be customers, right? How do you capture that excitement when they first get to the website? How do you capture it? Because guess what? If they're on for eight to 10 seconds, click, they don't see what they like. 
How about if you had a mechanism in place, a job to be done, that allowed your, your customers to instantaneously communicate with the person visiting the website in the form of web chat? And by the way, I want to say, guys, okay, just think about this for a second. CRM, surveys, web chat, unified communication seat, free phone, analytics, everything, 35 bucks a seat. While everybody else, and everybody's a victim of this, even we are sometimes, while everybody else is in a race to zero, we need to change the conversation now. Because this industry is going this way from a price perspective, because everybody is so interested in churn and burn. At the end of the day, I think we're not doing the right thing for our customers, and more importantly, we're not doing the right thing for ourselves in creating the large annuity that enables us to have this long-term residual, right? Race to zero, race to the bottom is not good. So job three is web chat, okay? Which is awesome. Go to the website and get a little chat box like that, right up here, okay? And you can have automatic responses in there. You know, you could do what you, do, what you see people do on a web chat, right? Click this, click this, so you don't have to type all day. It's a really cool tool. And everything, by the way, is funneled through an analytics, uh, analytics product. So every interaction that your customers do with their customers is funneled through an analytics product where you can understand customer sentiment. You can understand how many customers reach out, how often they reach out to you, who reached out to you, right? And how they feel. So you can manage expectations and you can go ahead and say, wow, I have a happy customer base. Because I guarantee you, if I was to ask each individual one, what is the satisfaction level of every one of your customers, you would have no answer. <laughs> I mean, unless you have like five customers, then it's another story. But if you have any more than 25, 30 customers, you don't understand the sentiment of your customers. And at the end of the day, that's what's important, right? You can't build on top of a hole. So I just want to say we do offer other integrations Right? And we do offer VoIP-only seats. So I don't want to tell you guys that you have to sell the new business communication suite. You could just sell VoIP-only seats. So I don't want to think, you guys would think, oh, wow, they're you know, only for these type of customers. No, we do a great job with phone service. And we have a great network and great customer service as well. That's all I have. Does anybody have any questions? Hal? Do current customers have uh, CRM? We can transition, yes. What's well, uh, we just have to put them on the platform. They have to change. They can, they'll keep their seat, everything will be the same. We just have to upgrade them to the communication suite. Can the data be extracted out? So uh, here's, if they want to go ahead and put the data in themselves, that's fine. We do offer professional services. To up just in case there's a client wants to depart, Oh, yeah, yeah. But uploading, they can either upload it themselves or they can use us, and we can provide professional services to help them upload that data in the CRM. Do you have a technical person with you? Wait, uh, I have some more detailed technical. I have experience with Salesforce, what kind of yep. hurdles they have mm -hmm. when you depart from them. We can get you. We have like 14 engineers. We, we can get that information for you. Any other questions? So now that it's a little more complex than just here's a phone, bada boom, bada bing, what are you guys doing about implementation? So we have an implementation team that, you know, basically is consultants that goes through it, just like anything else, and here's how you do it. And we give them, not only we show them, but we give them the information and booklets and whatever, and the links, right, to PDFs, how-to PDFs. Uh, we can do that. If they want additional assistance, as I said, in uploading, then we go to professional services. And that's on site? No, no, it's all virtual. But if the professional services will do it for him, is that yes. the differentiator? Okay. Yes. The training's included. Yes? I just found a list. Is there Google Analytics on there? Is there any 
Uh, there's no integration with Google Analytics. No, not yet. Good question, though. That, that's something we're developing. Yes, Tim. Carl, on the CMRPC RS package, a lot of people in this room are using tools like ConnectWise and things like that. Mm -hmm. Very expensive uh, point of entry over the internet. How could we avail ourselves of CRM as a troubleshooting platform? If CRM is one thing, hey, this is all the yep. blah, 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 but what about? Well, that's what we use it for. So that's what we actually use. <laughs> that's the primary reason uh, that Nextiva uses it, is for a trouble ticket. So uh, we can do a demo for you. We can show you it. Escalation capabilities. Oh, yes. Absolutely. It is a service CRM primarily. Sales, okay. not so much. But we're, and, and I'm, I'm telling you guys this, I look at this as like version 0.25. Okay, version 0.5 is coming out in July. Version 1.0 is coming out by the end of the year. And wait till you see, it's pretty good now, but wait till you see how robust it is in the future. I sat through a demo yesterday, and this customer is a very large customer. It's one of our largest customers at Nextiva. And they're using Excel spreadsheets pretty much, believe it or not. And it was pretty robust, and it actually accommodated most of their needs and requirements because it is a service-based CRM. Benny? Ben, that's Benny, man. That is Benny. So it's um, so if you basically uh, we offer spiffs on over hundred dollar seats and above. Okay. So uh, basically, it's if you rent phones, we have phone rentals. By the way, devices a service. Uh, if you rent phones, you get three times spiff. On uh, on two hundred dollars and above, on a hundred to two hundred dollars, I think it's two times spiff if you rent phones. So it's a three x if you rent phones. And by the way, it's beneficial to your customer to rent phones. We rent uh, the VTech, which is now Snome, and we rent Polycom phones. Uh, and they're really reasonable. And by the way, there's a seven-year warranty with them, and then uh, they can upgrade if they want to. It's a good, it's a good product. Who has a seven-year warranty? Which one? Uh, both, uh, Polycom and VTech. So the, the $35 so the $35 seat can include a lower level Polycom phone. Okay, we sell the new Skyline phones, which are the like 150, 253, 50, 450. They're the newest ones. We don't sell the 411 anymore. Uh, so it would include like the 150 if you want to go up. I mean, just a couple bucks more and you can have like pretty much a top end. Yep. So, Why is it important to the HIPAA so, HIPAA, uh, so HIPAA compliance in our world just means that we have the ability to protect the data that's going through the phone service, right? And through our network. Uh, so what we do is obviously we mitigate their liability by signing a business associates agreement, saying that if the government comes back to them and you are not HIPAA compliant, which by the way, it's $1,000 per violation, okay, we say wait. We have their back. We're insured for millions of dollars. They don't have to be. So HIPAA compliance is very big. Now, our network now sometimes on HIPAA compliancy, they might lose products. Like, for example, voicemail to text is not HIPAA compliant. If companies are telling you they're HIPAA compliant and offering voicemail to text where a patient can call in, leave a text, and you, you can forward that text to somebody else, okay, that's not HIPAA compliant. So that's what that means. Anything else, Benny? Are, you, um, are we going to be able to add all of these things to our, our partner portal ourselves, or do we have to get our email address? Joyce. Yeah, with Joyce. She's a resident expert here. Well, thank you guys so much for the opportunity to speak here today. Uh, really, this is our fifth year with TCG, so we really appreciate your partnership. Um, I personally have been working with T TCG for many years, I've known Dan for 22 years, so we definitely like the uh, relationship and want to continue. If you guys need anything from us, 
And I, oh, I've known Jen, sorry, for uh, 19 years. Yes, yeah, 19. Yeah, Dan called me up one day and said, uh, hey, Carl, can you get my sister her first job in telecom? I said, well, have her come in. And here we are today, yes. The install fill down here, at least for my customers, is, is still huge. So before you were doing sort of like a $25 per yep. week mm -hmm. professional install. Yep. That's a third party installer. It's Field Nation. Okay, but now that you've come out with all of these tools, if mm -hmm. you want someone to go out on site, sit with a customer, and help them implement the CRM, help them with the UCAP, help them, I mean, you're offering a product with 10 different things on it. An average customer doesn't want to go and read a PDF, yeah. look at a video, yep. or anything else. You know, the, the, my one, I guess, hardest part, I'm not an IT guy, yep. I'm the smartest guy in the room, but I love to go sell. But I'm not an installer. And that's my hardest part with you guys is that I can't do drop ship because I, there's always an issue somewhere down the road with a phone or a service or something okay. that, that mm -hmm. can't be done yep. through a phone call. And implementation of these services that's the beginning of the relationship. Yep. And if that goes badly, mm -hmm. drop ship, yep. you're kind of destroyed at the beginning. So we offer Field Nation to come out and do the install, number one. Um, if, but all the other stuff, the, the CRM and all that, that's, it doesn't make a difference whether somebody's sitting in front and clicking or somebody's online on you know, GoToMeeting, whatever it may be, and, and reviewing it, or Zoom or whatever, or our own, we have our own collaboration tool. I'll just give you examples. But, it doesn't really make it, it's all software as a service. It's easily trained online. You're, as far as the phones are concerned, the phones are plug and play. But you know what? If you have a larger customer, we'll have an engineer fly down here. If you have a customer that bills over a thousand bucks, call, let us know. We need professional installation by a Nextiva engineer included. And we'll have an engineer, and I will tell you 100% of the time that we have an engineer come out and do an install, it's flawless. Yeah, of course, well, that's, 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 that's what you're asking for. That's what so we can do that. Now, you know, like I said, professional services, if they want to go deep into the CRM and all that, we can do all that. We're going to help them set up from scratch, okay? Set everything, up upload the information. It's all professional services. The webinars for all of these tools, that's included as far as training. Is yeah, so if they for the training. Sit and do, you know, five, ten people in a room at a time to yep. get all of this going and everything else, all of that's included. Yes, okay. absolutely. All the training is always included. We don't charge any extra. All right, that's my thing. Uh, we have a giveaway here. It's a Bose yeah. speaker. 